Hello guys, welcome to Cinema Ultimate. Movie recap in here. This time, the plot of Venom 2, 2021, Let There Be Carnage will be told, how Venom defeats the evil figure of his own descendants. The film is directed by Andy Serkis and still stars Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock. Venom 2 will continue the story of Eddie Brock and Venom, who are back in action against crime. And this time they have to face a serial killer, Cletus Cassidy, who transforms into the evil figure of Carnage. How's it going? Here's the storyline. At the beginning of the film is shown an orphanage foundation named St. Estes, in California in 1996. There was a man named Cletus Cassidy. And his girlfriend named Frances Barrison who were locked up together. Frances suffers from a disease that causes her to mutate so that she has superpowers. She told Cletus that he would be separated from children like himself. Shortly after, Frances was taken away by unknown persons. Sad to know her lover was transferred to another place. Cletus was furious. On the way, while in the car Frances fights the police and uses her superpower, sonic voice, to knock out a young policeman named Patrick Mulligan. Then Mulligan shot Francis in the eye and fell out of the car. As for Mulligan himself, his ears hurt from Francis' sonic sound. Presumed dead, unbeknownst to Mulligan, Francis is taken to a research site called the Ravencroft Institute. A few years later, after Francis recovered, she saw a newspaper reporting the case of her lover, Cletus, who had been arrested for being a serial killer who was about to receive the death penalty. It made him look sad, he wished Cletus could release him from his cage there. On the other hand, Mulligan is now a detective. He called Eddie to talk about Cletus who just wanted to talk to him. Cletus refuses to speak to anyone, except for Eddie. Long story short, Eddie went to Cletus in prison to talk about his serial murder case. After talking with Cletus, Venom soon tells Eddie to look at something on the wall which turns out to be a picture of a tree, a hilly mountain with a sea and some crosses. After seeing it, Eddie returned to the apartment immediately to find out the meaning of the picture. Venom helped Eddie by drawing what they saw, then looked up the information on the internet. When he saw the same picture on the internet, Eddie then looked for the location where the picture was. Eddie also managed to find the location, where it turns out that Cletus hid the bodies of the victims he killed there, as a result Cletus was immediately sentenced to death. After that incident, Eddie's career increased, then he bought a new motorbike. One time, Venom was very annoyed with Eddie because he was hungry and wanted to eat the brains of the bad guys. Knowing this, Eddie even prepared two chickens to eat but Venom didn't want to eat them, arguing that the two of them were friends. Eddie confirms to Venom that the police are still looking for the case of the person whose head was lost due to being eaten by Venom earlier. And if one more head is missing, then they will be in danger of being taken to an alien place. Venom who heard it, remained hungry and kept asking for food. Until finally Eddie went to Mrs. Chen to buy chocolate, replace Venom food. Arriving at the shop, Mrs. Chen told that the chocolate was empty. Then Eddie went to the chicken supply shed to feed Venom. And in the end Venom was forced to eat chicken again because he was too hungry. Shortly after Venom saves people from criminals, he paralyzes them and tries to eat them, but he changes his mind. Then Eddie gets a call from his ex-fiance, and, to meet Eddie at a restaurant because he wants to tell him something. At the restaurant, they chatted for a while, then Anne announced that she was now engaged to Dan Lewis. It made Eddie look sad but Venom still encouraged Eddie and will continue to be with him as a partner. Back at the apartment, Venom is seen receiving an invitation, then he gives it to Eddie. It turned out that the invitation was from Cletus to take Eddie to his prison, before he would be sentenced to death. In the invitation Cletus said that when he was a baby, he almost died. However, fortunately he was still alive, and as a child, Cletus became so naughty that he killed his own grandmother by dropping her from the stairs. Then he also killed his own mother with a hairdryer. As a result of that incident, he received harsh treatment from his own father until finally Cletus was sent to the St. Estes. There were also many other naughty children who bullied Cletus and even beat him. Until finally there was a girl who saved him with the superpower of Sonic's voice, she is Francis. After reading, Eddie finally went to meet Cletus in prison. Arriving there, Eddie immediately talked to Cletus. 
It turned out that Cletus was very upset with Eddie's actions in dismantling the case, then Cletus made words that made Eddie angry that Venom himself was provoked and attacked Cletus. When he pulled it, Cletus bit Eddie's hand until it bled. Eddie immediately rushed away from there. Then, it was seen that the blood of the bite was a small part of the Venom symbiote, then Cletus swallowed it. At the apartment, Eddie fights with Venom over the incident in prison. Venom says that he wants more freedom to be able to eat the bad guys. Likewise with Eddie, who feels that his life is falling apart because of Venom. The two of them had a big fight in the apartment. Until finally Venom broke away from Eddie's body and moved to another person's body. On the other hand, it looks like Cletus will be ready to be executed while being watched by many people. Just as he was about to be executed, something from inside Cletus came out giving rise to a red symbiote. Instantly the place became chaotic and the red symbiote grew bigger and bigger, this red symbiote named Carnage. He attacked all the prison police and freed the prisoners who were in prison. Then Carnage made a tornado attack and ate the head of a leader there. Cletus was finally released from prison then stole a car and went to meet his girlfriend. In the car, they talk and make a deal with each other. On the other hand, Eddie sees news about Cletus escaping from prison. Then Detective Mulligan came to visit him at the apartment. He told Eddie about the prison situation that Cletus had messed up. This makes Eddie try to find clues about Cletus. He also remembered a picture of a house with trees that Venom had made, along with the name of the place called St. Estes. Then Eddie rushed over there. Turns to Venom who looks very disappointed with Eddie then goes to the party to have fun. There are many people who admire Venom because it is considered a very good costume. Then Venom was invited to come on stage and he expressed his sadness about Eddie. Arriving there, Eddie finds a picture of love on a big tree which means Cletus loved Francis. Eddie immediately notified Mulligan of his discovery. He suspected that Cletus was going to see his girlfriend, Francis. Hearing this, Mulligan couldn't believe it because he remembered that he had shot Francis himself before. Meanwhile, Cletus is seen going to a shop at a gas station to search the internet so he can track his girlfriend's whereabouts in Ravencroft. Cletus was there and he could easily enter the room where his lover was locked up. Finally Cletus was able to get Francis out and they immediately left in the stolen car. Before long, many policemen came after them. Knowing this, Carnage immediately finished off the policeman and at the same time Francis let out her sonic voice. However, Carnage was annoyed by the sound because he was very sensitive to loud noises. After the incident, Mulligan and his team headed to the crime scene. There he found the name Francis. Knowing this, Mulligan becomes suspicious of Eddie and takes him to the police station because of his last interaction with Cletus. However, Eddie refused to answer. He asked Anne to be contacted as his lawyer. Then Anne came to see Eddie. Eddie told him that he had been separated from Venom. Right now he desperately needed Eddie's power to fight Carnage. Hearing that, Anne rushed off to find Venom. She stopped by Mrs. Chen to find out information about Venom's whereabouts. And wonders about Venom and reveals that Cletus already has Carnage. Then they saw a news story about Cletus and Francis on television. After talking for a while, and realized that Mrs. Chen became different. And realized that Venom was in her body. Venom who was caught, immediately showed the shape of his eyes. Long story short, Venom refuses to help Eddie because he is already disappointed in him. However, after and lauds him as a cool hero, Venom is delighted and decides to help Eddie. Arriving at the police station, and turns into Venom and helps Eddie escape from there. In a safe place, Venom asks Eddie to apologize sincerely, before he actually decides to help Eddie. Hearing this, Eddie did it and finally Venom entered Eddie's body again. Then Eddie told Anne and Lewis to go as far as possible. On the other hand, it looks like Mulligan is planning to go to Eddie's place. Arriving there, he saw Cletus who was also there. Then Mulligan told him to raise his hand but Cletus immediately turned into carnage, then held him hostage because of his lover's desire to take revenge on Mulligan. Then in another place Francis also took an hostage who was about to run away with Lewis. But he released Lewis so he could tell Eddie that Anne was being held hostage and for Eddie to meet Cletus at the cathedral church. While waiting for Eddie's arrival, Cletus and Francis had a wedding in the cathedral church with a priest. Here, Eddie finally negotiates with Venom that he will let Venom eat them so that Venom will help him. The attack started with Francis making her sonic voice but Carnage who was distracted immediately told her to shut up and not do it again. Then Venom's battle with Carnage begins. Shortly after, Lewis arrives who helps Venom by pouring oil on Carnage and starting a fire. After the fire was extinguished Carnage immediately chased after him and wanted to eat Lewis, but Venom was immediately restrained from behind. Then suddenly the bell rang indicating 12.00, which made them tremble and hide in the bodies of their respective hosts. When Venom throws Carnage into the glass, Carnage immediately holds his body and fights back Venom until he bounces and is hit by large debris. 
As a form of threat to Eddie, Carnage takes Anne up to the church to be killed. There, he met Francis and told Carnage that his actions had gone too far. Carnage who heard that became irritated and kept his mouth shut. Cletus who saw Carnage's treatment of his lover, told him to stop. Carnage and Cletus clashed and looked very mismatched. Eddie and Venom who saw it, were motivated because the two of them matched very well. They got up from the pile of rocks and took a sharp iron nearby and went straight to Carnage. Just as Carnage was ready to eat Anne, Venom came stabbed Carnage, which made Anne fall and was immediately caught by Venom. Before long, Venom gave Anne to Lewis. Then Carnage stabs Venom. Francis, who saw it, suggested using fire to attack Carnage. Venom decides to use Francis's voice, which is his weakness. Then he threw Francis at a nearby bell, which made her fall and let out a sonic sound. Then the bell fell right on Francis. At the same time, Eddie also fell from a height. Venom also tried to get into Eddie again by passing Lewis and Anne's body as a movement aid to get to Eddie. Just before Eddie fell to the bottom, Venom went straight into Eddie's body. Meanwhile Carnage fell to the bottom, which made him very sick. The Carnage symbiote that was released, was about to move towards Cletus's body. However, Venom immediately came and took it and swallowed the symbiote Carnage, well and finally Cletus's head was eaten alive. Later, Eddie and his friends left the place because they were being chased by the police who started arriving. Eddie and Venom also said goodbye to Anne and Lewis. Then they left. On the other hand, Mulligan is seen who is still alive and suddenly his eyes turn blue. Some time later, after the incident, Eddie and Venom decided to take a vacation while thinking about what to do next. In the post credit scene, they are seen watching a telenovela. However, suddenly a blinding light took them from the hotel room to the other. The film ends with them seeing a news story on television that reveals Spider-Man's identity as Peter Parker. This draws Venom's attention to Peter on television. And the film is over. Okay guys. If you like our channel, support us with subscribe and turn on the bell, like, comment, and share. So that you don't miss our next video and our channel can grow even more. See you guys.